Seven years ago, I decided to teach myself graphic design. And not because I really wanted to be a designer, but more because I was paying tens of thousands of dollars for web design, for logos, for magazine layouts, for business cards, all of these different things that I just wasn't really happy with. And I just thought, I could probably just learn how to do this myself and make it better. And if you feel the same way about the templates you're seeing or things you're getting back from designers, then I say just go for it. And here are the seven steps that I would do today if I was really going to be very intentional and deliberate about learning and being more productive because I think I wasted a ton of time just like learning, not learning, and then not sure what to do. So here's like what I would do if I was starting from scratch. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva and AI as well. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. Now, if you think AI is going to put graphic designers out of business, you are so wrong. There are extra hands or things that you wanna change or the colors are off and you will need to know how to bring those images into Photoshop and change them or change just a few elements or remove that fourth or fifth hand or a sixth finger or something. So for sure, you should be learning how to use all of these tools on your own. So. First step is decide what kind of designer do you wanna be? So you could be a web designer, you could be a UI UX designer, you could be a planner designer, you could do layouts, business cards, logos, all of those. And then once you choose that, then the second step is to choose software. And the reason I say that second is because a lot of those different skills are very dependent on being very proficient in a different type of graphic design software. So if you wanna do UIX design and create mobile apps, you should be learning Figma. Don't learn Adobe XD, that is actually going away um, because Adobe bought Figma, so only learn Figma. Uh, the second thing is if you want to be a planner designer like me, you learn how to use Adobe InDesign, or if you're thinking, you know what, I could do some freelance work for uh, self-published authors and do book layouts, Adobe InDesign is the way to go for that as well. Now, if you wanna create logos, then Adobe Illustrator is the way to go because you need to learn how to use vector art. So that's the second thing. I would pick a graphic design software to specialize in. And those are really the top three, uh, Figma, Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign. Okay, that's four. I'm not good at math. Um, the third thing is learn design principles. Now this is really easy. I don't know why people spend four years in college learning this. It's like white space, uh, negative space, uh, balance, contrast, all of these things. You can just watch a couple YouTube videos on design principles and you will get it in a couple seconds. It's not that hard. Um, the fourth thing is you need to decide if you're going to be a print person or not a print person, so it means digital. So if you're gonna be print, you need to learn Pantone, CMYK, how to work with printers, that's like a whole different world, versus RGB, which is very different, and I don't wanna say much easier, but then you still have to learn some color theory, uh, what are what is tint, what's opacity, what's transparency, um, you need to learn saturation and hue, just any terminology to do with colors and the color wheel and analogous colors and try it, like how things complement and balance each other as well as some color psychology if you're gonna be working with clients on, or really anytime you talk with anybody about colors. Fifth thing I would do is learn typology all of those terms, serif, sans serif, slab, script, display. And then that has its own terminology. There's kerning, there's letting. So you want to learn everything you can just about typography in general. And then the sixth thing I would do is learn logos. So logo types, there is icons, logo marks, word marks. And then inside of there, there are a whole new slate of things on learning how to make logos for different mediums and where it's going to be used and the contrast and different variations. And so for sure, that is something totally different. No matter what you're doing, everything probably needs a logo. And then the seventh and final thing you should learn is file types. So what are you sending to your clients? What are SVGs used for? What are PNGs used for? What are JPEGs? What are printers wanting in terms of the file format? And then last but not least, I would just practice all of those things that I said over and over and over again. So let's recap that really quick. The first thing is decide what kind of designer you want to be. Second is 
choose a software and learn it. The third thing you wanna do is learn some basic design principles, then decide if you're going to be a print versus RGB person. The fifth thing is learn typography. The sixth is logo types. And the seventh is file format. So, and remember, if you have any questions about Adobe InDesign, shoot them down below. I will be happy to answer them. I hope everyone's having a fabulous, wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.